is Curran. He's got a little bit of space at a bad angle. Settles it to the point. Thompson will step in and fire. All that shot blocked by Lynch. And the Glasgow kind of got a three on one. If they can hurry, here's Lynch. Looks to the back door. And that shot guided wide by the clan. Their biggest chance of the night in transition. Hazeldine back in his own zone. Norris, stretch pass. Oh, he finds Spellacy. Spellacy puts the brakes on, leaves it for Hazeldine in transition. A great glove save by Kylie. Lovely vision from Archie Hazeldine to step up. He's looking for his uh, first Coventry Blades goal. He nearly had it here. Uh, Archie Hazeldine definitely come to play tonight. Got the opportunity to get some ice time at the Elite League level, and he's really showing it here. Lovely pass to come through. And then just follows it up, carries on with the play, picks the puck up, gets a nice shot off. And here's McNulty, he's going to bring that across the line. And just to hold on to it, sends it to the point. Kobe Rothsall, the hit coming, was able to drop it away for Curran. He's going to turn to the back door, they score! Curran picks out Roth, and the Blaze are on the board first. Lovely vision from Johnny Curran. And he spots Kobe Roth on the back door, he taps in. Roth second in two nights. Yeah, Kobe Roth just hanging around in the zone after laying that pass off to Curran. Curran spots him, sends it back across, and Roth really just has to direct it back towards the net. Kylie's beaten, he's down, he's had to stretch out. Nice play from, from both Roth and Curran there to make that one happen. Yeah. And now here come the clan again, Combs on the touch from Lynch. Clemens throws a hit into the corner. He's picked up by the clan. They try and throw a puck to the back door. It's picked up pretty comfortably by a combination of Allen and McNulty. Lynch put poked away by McNulty again. It's still sitting there. It's pinballing around. It's ended up out in front of Coase and they score. Luke Lynch gobbles up on the loose puck. And we're just over a minute to go in the first period. The clan have tied it. That puck just never really settled for anybody except for the clan number 84. He buries it for his 10th goal of the regular season, Stoop. Yeah, pinballing around there. And it's a lovely bit of stick handling from Luke Lynch as he gets round Taron Cozen but he like to say it was a very much a broken play we see it bobbling there just off the stick of Combs and then on to Lynch the Blaze had a couple of opportunities to try and clear it out of the zone as well but it didn't lie for Ian McNulty it didn't lie for Carter Allen it ends up in the back of the Coventry Blaze net and it's tied at one apiece yeah. pinballs around a little back into the hands of Lakovitz Lakovitz floats one to the weak side Sol can quite reel it in and Country Blades couldn't quite reel it in to bring it up ice in a hurry, although they've mobbed that puck along the boards. Curran thinks about Roth out in front. He does try to pick out Kobe Roth again. It comes off the skates of Darian Craighead, and Craighead will follow that chipping in. But comes down towards the bench. Nate Callan handles it. They're in the middle of a change there, the clan. The Coventry Blades will come the other way on the confusion. Roth, toe drag scores! Kobe Roth is second of the night. And the Blades are back in front. Two different goals from the Blaze number 11. One a tap in serviced by Curran. Here he toe drags, picks out Kelly, weak, uh, weak side on the glove. And a lovely start shot by Roth. And the Blaze back in front. Well, here come the commentary players. Carter Allen's going to charge up ice. Gets it into the offensive zone. Tries to throw one towards the net. It got redirected on the way through. And the clan will take hold of it and come the other way. Pellet settles it between his legs. Oh, lovely hands from Reddick. Reddick gets in. Shot blocked. Rebound! Comes out in front. The clan can't get a shot on net. Now the Blades are going to get a three on one. Roth drops it off. Christo. And the Coventry Blaze never really got a clean scoring chance away. Tried to pick Clements back out. Oh, the puck just got bogged down on Christo as he tried to settle it. Either way, end-to-end -end stuff. That loose puck that came out right in front again was uh, almost a nightmare for the Blaze, but the clan couldn't turn it into a, a second chance on net. Curran, oh, he's stopped starting and got round Sol. Plays it to Roth, who was trailing just into the offensive zone. He couldn't handle it. Sanch. He makes a move. Sarge on the back end. Good save by Cozen. The puck is still there. Cozen's able to get tight to his pipe and hang on to it. That was a really good bit of net minding by Taron Cozen. Coventry Blaze and the Glasgow kind of really are end to end throughout this one, Stu, aren't they? Yeah, both teams opening up the offensive capability here. Sarge drags it round nicely around Blake Thompson. And you see that puck gets loose and Cozen has to fight for it. Gets his leg back, <coughs> ensures he's tight to the post as they're, they're scrambling with Sarge there on the doorstep. But Cozen's able to be better that one and uh, makes the save. 
Kozen tried to settle it. Lynch is going to go for the empty net. He's blocked as Alexander Kukali read the danger. Now here's Luciani. Heads up ice. He'll kill some seconds here. Talberg's just come off the bench. He might get a bit of space. And the back door he does. One-handed. Talberg to Luciani. Gets hooked and the blade is going to go four on four. Lovely work between those two gentlemen. Alessio Luciani saw Kim Talberg encroaching to the back door. He had to take it one-handed, the Swede. Thought about the wraparound. Saw Luciani coming towards the net. So I'll throw that out in front for you, sir. But yeah, you can see the little hook. And yeah, we'll see some four-on-four -four hockey. A lot of ice out there, Stu. Yeah, And now Tyler Kirkup will relieve the pressure. Oh, outlet play from Kirkup. If Dudek can get to it, he can try to fire towards the net, but Cody sold it well. He gets hit hard by Christo in the corner. Big hit by Danny Christo. What a big man in Cody Sol. And oh, that's something you don't see every day. Someone able to take Sol down with a check like that. McNulty able to pin his man. That puck comes free as a result. And and Blaze will get moving. Curran. Oh, lovely feed from Curran on the back end of Hazeldine. Looks in, shoots short side. Good blocker save by Kylie. There's a bit of whistle, and I think Kazan quite settled that net down. And yeah, well, uh, we will have that stoppage. Archie Hazeldine really looking like he wants to get in the uh, amongst the scorers, doesn't he, tonight? Yeah, very activating very well. They utilized the open ice space there. Got it on the forehand, went, uh, went to see if he could uh, sneak it in in the gap there with Jake Kiley. Wasn't quite able to, but been really impressed with how he's been playing in, the, in this game this evening. Pelic in the corner, behind the net, Hayden. Back to Pelic. Patrick was out in front, and that pass gets redirected into the corner. Kelly. Tries to shoot through a crowd, it bubbles out in front, they score! On oh, the broken play, the shot from Kelly, heavily redirected to uh, Pelic. Taron Kozen thinks that might have been kicked in. Let's see this again, Stu. Shot from Kelly through a crowd, bounces off a stick. I don't know, it's hard to tell with the defenseman behind him. They're certainly having a chat about it, the officials. Let's have a look one more time. Yeah, we see there, uh, Reese Kelly throws it in, pucks bobbling around. It looks as if it might have bounced off Pellet skate, but I don't see any sort of kicking motion there. I don't see any sort of swing of the leg. And they're going to wave it away! Okay. Judge that Mike Pellick had enough of a kick in motion to prevent that being a good goal. And then we're underway here in the third. In Spellacy in the first period, uh, face off of the period, excuse me, as that puck gets dumped in. Gary Hayden will collect. Oh, he gives it away. Kirkup out in front with a chance. Kicked away by Kylie. I think uh, Kirkup might have had his stick taken away slightly on the shot, but forces to save out the uh, American netminder either way. This Salt. Clan work wing to wing via the D-man, County. Sends one on the net. Oh, there's a big loose puck out in front. Pellet couldn't get to it. Cozen able to grab hold of it, and Forbes and Spellacy will throw some glove punches at each other. Something along the lines of I was here first. Yeah, so just just trying to uh, to make sure that they were the ownership of that space there and uh, a bit of push in there as Forbes and Spellacy are. They're not, neither of them were there, were there first. 11 to go. In regulation, I must add, as this one could very much uh, need overtime and shots as what well, has become the bit of the uh, bit of an MO of the Blaze this year. Here's Hayden. He shoots, he scores! The MO of Gary Hayden is fighting the back of the net. Goal number 16 on the year in transition. Takes the water bottle flying. And the Glasgow clan are level still. That makes uh, shots or OT even more likely, just yeah. as we were saying. It's a lovely release from Gary Hayden as he just gets over the blue line, sees that there's not much else on in terms of passing, just backs himself there. He's got five place players around him and just lofts it. That release is quick, it's accurate, it's with speed on the on the puck, and Taron Kozen can't get catch up to it. Thompson zips it around the boards. Roth sees Lynch coming as well to just keep it away from him. Fans on the first pass attempt and scoops it up and in deep. Coronel chasing him with Sol. Oh, it's played in behind the net, but only McNulty's there for Coventry. 
McNulty to the point. Kukali shoots down low, blocked on the way through. There's a high man in Combs. Combs, he picks it up. He's at the way to the races. Combs stopped by Cozen. There's a penalty on the play. It's going to be a hook and... Oh, it could be a penalty shot. No, it looked like a clear away breakaway. Let's have a look at this one again. Pass comes around straight down the middle. Charlie Combs, he's got the step there. I, you certainly... You know, that I that I think, we, well, I would call that a penalty shot there, and that's surely what the Glasgow clan are arguing for. Curran, walking down to the half wall, in behind the goal line now, back to Thompson at the point, gets that pass through, shot comes in, big save by Kylie's behind him! And somehow it comes out and the Blaze still have a chance, Thompson, he shoots, blocked on the way through, Kylie's goalie stick is in front of him. He's able to retrieve that. Wow, that was close for Coventry. Coventry. In behind their own net wall to break out. David Clements showed the corner by Reed Petrick, but he will come out now with Kobe Roth in support. Dumps it in. Plan first to it. Oh, there's a mistake. There'll be a chance in type. The Blaze could turn it. McNulty. Big kick saved by Kylie. Off the right pad. Ian McNulty did well to craft it from out of his feet to the net front. That's the biggest stop of the night for both goalies, I think, this do. And JD Dudek will now lead the charge into the offensive zone. Shoots himself. Oh, he hit the bar. Well, JD Dudek. Must have had a dinner reservation. He wanted to get it done quick in OT, but hit the underside of the bar. That JD Dudek chance was inches away. Just a matter of inches away. Blazers now got Roth and Curran out. Yeah, Curran with a lot of speed. Oh, great move from Curran. He fanned on the back end. He's got Thompson coming in, though. Thompson, he fans on it as well. And the Blazers had a real big chance to seal it. Curran will play it out the air. Now they'll come across the line again, this time with Roth. To the net front, Curran was taken away by Kylie. Now the clan will come the other way. The Blaze come across the line. Oh, there's a big chance. Great hands and a great blocker save by Kylie off Spellacy. Oh, that was fancy. And a great save by the goalie as Roach is going to bustle down the far side wing. He puts the brakes on back for Lakovic, sends it to the net, block it away by Kozen. Clements, first to the puck. He will change. Spell a seat for Christo. Oh, that puck. Get away from Christo. A mistake. Combs to win it. Good save by Cozen. Wow. And the clan still have a chance. Callan on the backhand. Turns, fires. Kicked away again by Cozen. Lakovitz. To Bolton. Drops it off for Petrick. He shoots upstairs, but it's wide of the target. David Clements able to mob that puck and... The Coventry Blaze. If David Clements can get up ice, he'll have one last chance to shoot and seal it. But he has to pull out. And we'll have a shootout between these two teams. And it's been a close hockey game throughout, Stu. And frankly, not all that surprised again. Uh, not at all surprised. Uh, we end up in the, uh, the lottery that is the shootout. And here we go. Once Kobe Roth got up his sleeve. Comes in with some speed. Good blocker save by Kylie. They're going to throw Darian Craig out there, the uh, Glasgow clan. The righty. There's a couple of seconds just to think about what he wants to do. He's going to take it in down the right wing. Out comes Cozen very aggressively. Craig head shoots, goes low. Good save by Cozen. Takes away the five hole. Nice stop by the goalie. Yeah, good stop there, you see. Taran Koza just shuts the door right at the last second and makes a good stop. Christo up next for Coventry. A righty. Takes it down the right wing side. Back up the middle, shoots. Good glove save by Kylie. Might have come off the uh, top of the leg pad, excuse me. Either way, he keeps it out. And uh, Charlie Combs will uh, step up next as we just have a quick look at that one one more time. And here comes Combs. Takes it wide left. Gathers some speed. Backhand tries to go 5-4. Good save again by Cozen. 
Made sure that puck wasn't going to bobble over anything and in. And the Coventry Blades will send J.D. Dudek up, who's got the hot hand in the shootout. Talked about that game in the Challenge Cup quarterfinal against the Giants. He scored the winner in the shootout with a fancy bit of uh, trickery. He'll go and try and do something just like that here. Fakes. Backhand. Good save by Kylie. Had the goalie biting. Didn't quite get the uh, lift on the backhand he wanted. And a good save by the uh, by the Tendu. Yeah, good save there. We see me just drives it onto the backhand, but can't flick it up and over the pads. And a good save. Hayden up for the clan. He tied it up. Can he get the goal in the shootout? He can. Really similar to his goal in uh, regulation. With speed coming across the line. Fired it high blocker. Beating Cozen. If you've done it once, you back yourself to do it again, and that's exactly what he did. Well, ball's in the court of Ian McNulty. Needs a goal here. Takes his time. In on Kylie. Oh, he hit the bar! Dudek hit the bar in uh, overtime, and McNulty hits the bar in the shootout. Lynch. By my maths, do conceal it here. Yes, yeah, if Lynch scores, then this one is over. Now he also has a goal in uh, regulation. Their first goal of the day. For the extra point, Luke Lynch down the slot. Fags! Good save by Cozen. And Johnny Curran has, to has score. two assists, and yes, he has to score to keep this one rocking and rolling. And it's up for the blade. Can he go from creator to score? Nearly did an OT as a Kobe Roth pass got to him, but he couldn't put the finishing touch on. Can he do it in the shootout? Curran waiting on the backhand. It's off the leg of Kylie and wide. And the Glasgow clan get the extra one in a shootout. And what a game that was. What a game. And uh, the Glasgow clan finally get the victory in overtime or in penalty shots against the Coventry Blaze this year, making it 3-1 in the, in the season series thus far. And I'll tell you what, the next two games between these two teams are going to be absolutely fantastic. Here with Blaze head coach Danny Stewart after the shootout loss against the Glasgow clan. Once again, we, we end up in OT and shots, a close game. And... Uh, we could have had uh, we could have had two points out of that one, Danny, quite easily. Yeah, I th you know one of those games, fine lines, right? It's uh, you know I think they'd probably say they could have had two points in regulation too. You know they had a couple of really good chances in the third there, and, and Cozy came up big. But uh, look, I'm 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 proud of the guys. I, you know a lot of coaches say that, but you know there's certain times our season is a grind for all teams, and uh, you know everyone has their their moments during the season where they maybe get the injury bug a little bit and, and we're feeling that right now and um you, you just got to handle those situations better you know we had a tough travel day today with some delays and stuff and um i'm not making excuses for the guys i just i'm actually commending them because with all they had to put up through and we're a bit beat up there and you know if you had offered me a point before the game with what we iced i, I would have took taken it so um you know great great job by them you could tell we fatigued in the third you know glasgow's a good team i i think they're they're forward great group is as talented as anybody in the league um you know so to, to keep to keep them up to the outside and limit them to, to two goals i think was was a job well done and then you know shootouts we've had success all year in those and you know unfortunately you know Nolts rings went off the bar and um and their goalie made some big stops so you know they're they're uh, i think it was hayden there he nice shot you know picks the top corner and you know that's the difference for a combination of reasons, you've had to shuffle the forwards around. Um, that combination of uh, Kobe Roth and Johnny Curran was great tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I think you know Curry's starting to find his legs a little bit and his game shape, and you know, hopefully, we'll see more and more out of him. Kobe's been you know great for us all year, and Nolts, you know, Nolts has been playing good hockey for us, and he was winning a lot, winning a lot of faceoffs there, getting us puck possession, and you know that line's going. So you know, I think I think like I said, you know, I think uh, I think for two periods we were really good. Um, we defended well, you know, we created enough, um, you know, every coach always wants to create more, but, uh, you know, the third period, you could tell we fatigued, but we hung on and, and, and got a well-earned point. And it was a uh, plenty in that to be positive about going into Wednesday's game. Now I know there's a mountain to climb there, but you want to give yourself a chance and playing some good hockey will help. Yeah. Look, I, I mean, at the end of the day, we're, we're, our, our focus right now is just going in and playing good hockey games and. You know, I, I'd be I'd be stupid to think that you know we can just waltz into Sheffield and beat them by six goals. But you know, we're not, we're also not going there to just lay down. So, um, you know, we'll approach that game like any other game is to go and win a hockey game and, and see what happens. 
as we do have a few injuries, I guess it's worth just running through the list to uh, to update us on where everybody's at. <clears throat> Firstly, with with Jack Hopkins, obviously last night was uh, was a, a bit of a scary one for a moment there. Good to hear he's okay, and we'll just keep him out for a little while to get him 100%. Yeah, I think Jack's going to be a while. I don't think we'll see him in the lineup for a while, but yeah, no, great. Got some great news today. You know, scans were clear and um, he's feeling better and he's feeling well. So, um, but it's going to take some time for Jack to get back. <clears throat> um, so yeah, well, I, I wouldn't expect to see him in the lineup for a good two, three, maybe even a month. And we've got uh, Shearer, who was in warm-up but wasn't quite ready to go. And, and Nathan Ripley as well has been out of the lineup a couple of yeah, nights. Yeah, I know Rip's had a little uh, injury. Um, he just hasn't seemed to get better so um, we left him out this weekend to, to try and catch up and you know hopefully we, we see some progress here in the next couple of days Shearzy we knew going in was going to be 50-50 um, gave it a go and warm up and just didn't feel like he could be effective out there and you know I think I think Injuries for a D-man at times, certain injuries, it makes it a little bit more difficult. They got some more pivots and going back for pox. And if you can't do that, you're, you're a bit exposed. So we made that decision. And then, uh, and obviously Cookie, you know, still out. And, um, you know, hopefully we, we get some better news this week on him. And, um, you know, we'd like to, Wednesday might be a push, but, you know, hopefully he might be ready by next weekend. Thank you, Danny. All right, guys.